Guys, I bring you a new world video showcasing all known legendary Warhammers in the game. I will mention a lot of these haven't been obtained yet. Also, some of the images you will see are placeholder images, so when the weapon does eventually drop for you in game, it will look different. But in terms of the weapon stats, etc., etc., it's all here. So let's go. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today I bring you a video showcasing all known legendary Warhammers in the game and how they are obtained. Now, like I said, some of the images are placeholders. Also, some of these weapons haven't been found yet. That's where I'm hoping you will help me out. So let's get into it. Firstly, guys, you have the Woods Warden. So this legendary Warhammer drops from the Gardener Genesis Expedition boss known as the Blighted Gatekeeper. It's an exclusive drop to this boss as far as I am aware. So you want to go farm this thing? That's who you gotta go and hunt. Next up guys, we have the Volcano Smasher. So this legendary is a random world drop across the board as far as I can tell by my research. This can drop from basically anywhere once you get to around that level of 40. So keep that in mind. Next up guys, we have the Stone Event. Now this is a legendary Warhammer that can be crafted, obviously using the weapon smithing once you are high enough level and have access to the required smithies. It requires a station of a blacksmith tier 5, requires a weapon smithing level of 186, trade skill XP needs to be 7285 and territory standing 141. Next up guys we have the Mirpaw's Fist. So this legendary is also a world drop across the board as far as I can tell. I believe it would be thrown into the loot pool once you get to around a level 40 to 50, but don't quote me on that. Next up guys, we have the Judgment of Male Violence. So this legendary is a random world drop as far as I can tell. So yes, once you hit around a level 40 to 50, this will be chalked into the loot pool and can drop across the board. Next up guys, we have the Gear's Revenge. So this legendary is a random world drop also and again, as far as I'm aware, drops across the board once you reach around a level of a 40. So yes, once you reach a level 40 to 50, this will be chucked into the loot pool. Next up guys, again we have another world drop across the board. Same rules, this one is called the Earthbind Award. Next up guys, we have the Fury. So this legendary is an exclusive drop it seems to the Lazarus Instrumentality Expedition boss of Chardis, who is a level 66. Good luck getting this anytime soon. Next up guys, we have the Life Breaker. So this legendary is a reward for completing the Angle in Anguish Expedition. I don't think it's a guaranteed drop, but I do think it's a part of the loot pool for when you complete that. So good luck there. Next up guys, we have the Yukifa, I believe that's pronounced. I'm probably wrong, I usually am. So this legendary is a weapon you have to craft, obviously needing the right materials and level. So it's required station is a blacksmith tier 5. It requires a weapon smithing level of a 200. Trade skill XP needs to be 7,440 and territory standing 144. Okay guys, so the next four weapons as of right now, we don't know where these are obtained in the game. So if you have any idea, please let me know and I'll edit the video description. First up, we have the Obsidian Warhammer. Then we have the Dream Crusher. Then we have the End of Days. And lastly guys, we have the Residual Hate. So yes, if you have any idea where those last four uh, Warhammers are from, please let me know down below and I'll edit the video description. But there we have it guys, all known legendary Warhammers in New World. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.